just need to find your center. You just need to eat more kale. You just need to make your health a priority. That sounds like great advice if you don't already have a chronic invisible illness. A lot of self-help books will give you a lot of general, overarching motivational advice, but sometimes you need more than that. I need to know how to maintain my friendships from my toilet. I need to know at what point during the job interview I'm supposed to tell them that I was hospitalized 10 times last year. I need to know what to say to Aunt Shirley when she says things like, if you just thought more positively about your health, you could heal your diseases. <laughs> Okay, I need a self-help book that was for people like me, so I wrote it. It's called Surviving and Thriving with an Invisible Chronic Illness, and it's about living real life with real chronic disease. So, if you're a guy or a girl, and you have diseases like... Diabetes. Dysautonomia. IBS. Spatter great. Wait, did you just make that up? Honey, all invisible diseases are made up. Then get the book and learn how you can do more with your life when your body just isn't always on your team.